In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and launch your first Google Ads for your local service business. After running hundreds of Google Ads and generating thousands of leads for our clients, I'll be breaking down all the steps in detail. That means showing you how to craft the most clickable headlines, how to select winning keywords, and a secret technique on how we outbid the competition every time. By the end of this video, you'll be able to fully set up your Google Ad campaign in minutes. Whether you're a plumber, roofer, landscaper, or any local service business, this video will be your quick and easy guide on how to run a profitable Google ad campaign. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kurt from OneBase Media, and I'm here to help you get more local customers for your local service business. So if you don't wanna miss any videos, join our community and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified. So first, when you're starting a new campaign, you need to select an objective. Google will give you all these options, like sale, leads, website traffic, but you want to select create a campaign without a goals guidance. This objective will give us full control over the ads without any of Google's suggestions. For select campaign type, we want to select search because we want our ads to show up on Google whenever someone searches for our services. Now we want to name our campaign. For this video, I'll be building the ad campaign for a roofing company based in London. So we'll name the company Roofing London, then click on agree and continue. Next, we want to set our bidding goal. You might be tempted to go straight into conversions here, but because this is a new ad account with no previous data from ads, you want to select clicks. Once the ad is up and running, you want to come back and change bidding goal to conversions. Below that, you want to check this box that says set a maximum cost per click bid limit. It's very important we do this because if we don't set the maximum cost per click limit, Google will show us how much it loves spending our money and will charge us a huge amount per bid for every click. Exhaust our ads budget very quickly. So let's put £7.4. Why the extra 4p? We always put a random number at the end, like 4 pence or 12 pence, because then we will outbid anyone who's just bidding £7. We want to analyze this data after we start running the ad and see if we're being outbid by our competition. We'll then accordingly increase or decrease the bid limit. After that's done, click on next. Now we're in campaign settings. Turn off display networks. Ideally, we want to also turn off search networks, but we'll keep it running for the first month of the campaign. After a month, we can come back and see if this is converting in our Google Ads dashboard or if it's just wasting our ad spend. If it's not converting after a month, turn it off as well. Next, we want to select our location. From here, you can do your geo-targeting and target the areas you want your ads to show in. By default, the presence or interest option will be selected because again, Google wants to spend as much money as possible. But if this option is selected, it will show ads to people outside of the London area. So select presence, people in or regularly in your target location so that we only target people who are in the London area. Next, put in your location, London. You can be even more specific and you can target your exact borough or town you provide your services in. Then set your language to English because we want people who speak English to view our ads. Next, click on more settings and in ad rotation, select optimize, prefer best performing ads. By doing this, Google will see which ads are performing the best and allocate more of our budget to those which are bringing in more conversions. So if you have multiple ads within an ad group and you want to split test them, then this is the best option as Google is really good at pushing your budget to the best performing ads. You can also do it manually if you like. For that, select do not optimize, rotate ads indefinitely and you can come back and delete or pause the ads which are not converting. As you can see over here, we have not selected an end date, so the ads will keep running and you can turn them off whenever you choose to. For our ad schedule, you want to put in your days of work and for the time, put in the times your offices are open or the time you want to take calls. Even if you operate 24 seven, for the time, put in from 12 a.m. to 11.45 p.m. Now what will happen is that you'll see that your ads are converting very well in some parts of the day and during some parts they are not converting at all. For instance, you see a lot of clicks on your ads in the midday during working hours with no conversions at all. But in the evenings, your ads are converting really well because people are at home, back from work, and have time to inquire about your services. So then you can start optimizing the ad timings accordingly. In short, you don't want to run ads 24 seven. Instead, look at the data and optimize your ads constantly for lower cost per lead and better results. After you've done this, click next. Now put in the URL you want the traffic to visit. We'll put in londonroofing.com for the purpose of this video. Now we want to enter the keywords that we want to target. To select winning keywords, we'll go to the Keywords Planner tool in Tools and Settings. Then you want to type in the keywords for the services you provide. So let's type in Roofing London and Roof Repair. Let's say for instance, we're building this whole campaign for roof repairs. We'd click on Add Filters, select Keywords, 
then click on contains and type in repairs and click apply. Now Google will only show you the keywords that have the word repair in them. Now we can start selecting the keywords that represent our services like roof repairs in my area, emergency roof repairs, minor roof repairs, tile roof repairs and urgent roof repairs. We have a fully detailed video on how to use the keyword planner tool for local keywords research. The video link will be in the description. So next copy and paste the selected keywords in our keyword section. Currently all these keywords are set as broad match. In broad match your ads will show up for searches that are irrelevant to the services you offer which will lead to wasted clicks. So instead you want the keywords to be phrase match. Wrap each keyword in double quotes to turn them to phrase match. Next you want to put in your URL roofinglondon.com. So whenever someone clicks on your ad, they will go through to this domain. As you can see, whatever you type in here will reflect back in the ad. Because our ad is for roof repairs, we want to put forward slash roof hyphen repairs forward slash after our link. This way it will send the traffic to our roof repairs landing page. Now for the display path, again put roof repairs and it will show up in our ads like this. If you were running ads for flat roofing, you put in flat roofing in the display path. So whenever someone clicks on your ad, they will go through to this domain. But let's change it back to roof repairs for this ad. Next, we want to craft our headlines. Now, it may seem a bit boring and tedious work, but never underestimate the power of an engaging headline. It's definitely worth putting in the time to write the best possible headlines so your potential customers click on your ads. Headlines are the first elements of your ad that people notice, and if they don't hit the mark, people will click off. So search for Roof Repair London in Google, and you can see this is how Google will display your ads. This will be your headlines, descriptions, and site links. So in order for your ads to compete and stand out, your headlines should be better than your competitors. Let's go back and write our headlines. If you want, you can use the headlines that Google is suggesting. So let's put in emergency roof repairs, and on top you can see that our ad strength is showing incomplete at the moment. But as we keep filling in all the headlines, the ad strength will increase. Put in Roof Repairs London and Local Roof Repairs and once you've filled in a few of the services that you offer, we'll move on to headlines. Remember, your headlines should build trust and present the desired outcomes that your customers want from your services. You can put in Fast Response Roof Repairs, 157 five-star reviews, London Best Rated Roofers or even something like Finance Option Available. All these headlines are either building trust in our customers or assuring them that the desired outcomes will be fulfilled if they use our roofing services. For the next headlines, you want to put in dynamic location insertion. Let's put in roof repairs with an open curly bracket and then click on location and select town. And as default, put in London. Now, if someone searches for roof repairs Chelsea, for instance, our ad will show up as roof repairs Chelsea. But if it fails to show Chelsea, it will show the default term, which is London. So basically, by writing it like this, our ad will automatically show the name of the town or location that someone is searching for. And you can see that our ad strength is improving slowly. As well as dynamic location insertion, we can also do dynamic full keyword insertion in a similar way. Type in five star rated with an open curly bracket and click on keyword insertion. Now, if someone searches for new roofs installation, our ads will show up as five star rated new roof installation. Put the default term as roof repairs and you want to change it to title case so our keyword shows up capitalized. Numbers do really well in headlines, so let's put in 24 seven roof repairs and 45 minutes response time. Next, put in save money on your roof. Got a leak, get it repaired fast. Large and small repairs and 20 plus years of roofing experience. If you find yourself running out of ideas in your quest to fill in all these headlines, you can do a Google search and see what type of headlines your competitors are using and take inspiration from these. Now you want to fill in all four descriptions. Descriptions offer an opportunity to provide more details about your service. You want to include relevant keywords in your descriptions. So put in London best rated roofing company, 157 five star Google reviews. Also put in get your roof repaired fast with London's leading roofing company. For the next description, anything from small roofing repairs to full installations. And for the fourth one, family run roofing business. We care about every customer, great aftercare service. Now that we've filled in all of our descriptions and headlines, you can see that the ad strength is showing as excellent. This is exactly what we want. All the ads should have an excellent ad strength. You can't underestimate how much the ad strength affects the performance of our ads. If our ad strength is low, it impacts our quality score, and then we end up paying more for advertising, whilst our competitors who are competing for the same exact keywords pay less. So in order to decrease our cost per click on our ads, our headlines and descriptions should be relevant to our customer searches. And the best indicator for that is the ad strength. Next, we want to upload our logo so our ads look a bit more professional when they show up. Google will ask for some documentation, and once you've verified that it is actually your business, you can upload a high quality logo. Next is site links. 
Site links are additional links that appear below the main description of your ad. They make your ad look bigger, which in turn gets more clicks. They also allow the customer to access specific landing pages on your website. So all of these are site links, and if you click on this, you'll go to the emergency roofing repair page. This will go to the heating page, and this one will go to the plumbing page. So now let's put in our site links. Type number one roofing company London, and below you can put in your description and URL. If you have different products and services, you can put them as separate site links as well. We'll put in slate roof repairs for our second site link, and in the URL, roofinglondon.com forward slash slate hyphen roofing. So now whenever someone clicks on this site link, it will take them to the slate roofing landing page. Google wants different URLs for each site links. So if you only have one landing page where you're sending all the traffic, just put in hash one and then hash two after the URL. This will tell Google that you have a different landing pages for different site links. But when a customer clicks on the ad, they'll go to a single landing page. This works as a way to override Google into thinking you have multiple landing pages. Next are your call out extensions. Again, you want to put all your unique selling points in here. So we'll put in family run business, quick response time, 24 hour roofing services, then once you're done, click save. Next, we'll cover all the different asset types. So the first one is promotions. If you have a monthly promotion on your services, this is a great way to highlight it through ads. You can have a monetary discount or percentage discount. We will select percentage discount and put 20% and then put in in February. And then you can run this ad until the end of February. Next is prices. Prices will show up as little boxes under the ads. So for example, type in 150 pounds and in the description put in roof surveys and it will show your ads like this. You can start adding prices for different services from here and it's a really good way to make your ads look bigger and occupy more real estate on Google. When done, click save. Now for calls, you'll want to put in your number over here. You definitely want to put in your mobile number because a lot of people directly call to inquire about your services from the ads. It will show up below the ad like this and whenever someone clicks on the box, it will directly place a call to your number. Next is a lead form. We rarely use this as we don't get many conversions from lead forms for service-based businesses. So our suggestion would be to avoid it. Next is the structured snippets. These are an ad extension feature in Google Ads that allows you to highlight specific aspects of your services by providing additional information beneath the ad. You want to fill out all of these sections with structured snippets by putting in all your keywords and unique selling points. This will help you bulk up your ad and make your ad look bigger than your competitors and size matters. If you have an app and you want to promote it, you can add it from the app option. But for a roofer, it's not really applicable. So now click on done and then click on next. This is the budget section from where you can set your expenditure. We recommend doing a daily budget. This section is where you can start playing and experimenting with your budget for maximum results. So you see here, Google is recommending us a daily budget of 180 pounds per day and a weekly budget of 1,261 pounds. Google will recommend different daily budgets depending on your location. Now London is a very competitive area, so the daily budget is on the higher side. If you're running ads for a less competitive county or location, your daily budget will be lower. Once done, click on next. Now you can review all of your campaign. Make sure everything is in order and then publish it. Once your ad has gone live, leave it running for 10 days and then you can go in and review the data and make changes to optimize the ads for better performance. And that's how you can set up your first profitable Google ads from scratch. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you got a lot out of the video. So our goal here is to help you generate the best quality leads so you can fill out your diary with more customers and grow your business. And that's it from me. And by the way, if lead generation is a problem for you right now, then there's a link in the description that will help you solve that problem in under three minutes. I want to say a big thank you again for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please like and subscribe and also leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions. We read and respond to all the comments we get. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.